and we knew it all was coming, but it still hurts. Mm -hmm. Did you see uh, Instagram, the post yes. by Braves legend Freddie Freeman? It was the talk Freeman. of the newsroom it earlier really this was. afternoon. It really was. Even a few of our colleagues dropped a few tears. They actually admitted to it, posting this goodbye message to his Instagram. It was pretty touching. He mm -hmm. says it will be, he says it ends by saying, quote, I love you, Braves country champions forever. Classy guy right really there. really is. Well, the first baseman still has not announced, though, where he's headed next. Just yesterday, though, the team signed his replacement to a monster deal. CBS 46's Adam Murphy live at spring training in South Florida with the very latest on the defending world champs. Adam. Hey there, Rick. First of all, I think we can all agree Freddie Freeman is a class act. In fact, another quote he made mention of, he says, I hope you remember all the wonderful memories we made together. What a great guy. And the other big news story coming out of day three of spring training here in South Florida, Freddie's replacement. The hometown kid who dreamed of playing for the Atlanta Braves finally got a crack at it. Yeah. First baseman Matt Olson took the field during spring practice on Wednesday and wasted no time putting on a show. It was good, really good feeling. I was able to, to get in here and kind of shake some hands and say, say hello yesterday uh, before guys took off. So, um, like I said, I'm ready for uh, all this to kind of die down and, and just go play baseball. He faced live pitching right off the bat and crushed one more than 400 feet over the right field fence. His first of many homers with the Braves. I love the fact that, you know, we got another left-hander, you know, just uh, split our lineup a little bit, especially in our division with all the right-handed pitching that we're going to see. Equally as impressive, veteran pitcher Charlie Morton, who returned to the mound for the first time after breaking his leg in the World Series. Oh, it's done. He threw good stuff, facing several batters with a limited pitch count. I thought the ball's coming out really good again for him. It continues to amaze me. And with the regular season less than a month away, the ball club is already looking bravo. This new Olsen guy, we're, we're excited. You know, he's going to be here a while, so I'm going get to get to know him. And I think everyone's excited, too. And this team's young, and they're going to be good for a while. We'll, we'll embrace guys as they come in with open arms and trying to get them acclimated as fast as we can. And, um, you know, I think that's what, that's what a good clubhouse does and makes you feel right at home, comfortable from day one. And back inside Cool Today Park in beautiful Northport, Florida, the team has completed its workout for the day on the field. Off the field, more big news. They re-signed outfielder Eddie Rosario, who had a big-time performance in the playoffs, helping the team win the World Series. He will be back here at camp tomorrow. We'll have that story for you then. We're live in South Florida here in Northport. I'm Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.